Hi, in this particular video we've actually been given this text, although I just thought it'd be a little bit easier on the video to add a little sketch to the bottom of it as well. So you're normally just given the line, the text, which I write in full in the description. But basically what they're saying is a straight line, which is this straight line here, passes through the points 4, 1. So this is the point 4, 1 and it's perpendicular to an existing line which is y equals 2x minus 5. Okay, now if it's perpendicular it means basically that it's at 90 degrees. It cuts across this line at a right angle and we've been asked to write the equation of this particular line. Okay, so a couple of things we need to be aware of. The first thing is, is that when you've got a perpendicular line the gradient is the negative reciprocal. Okay, what we mean by that is that this is the gradient of this line, the negative reciprocal of that, well the reciprocal is a half and the negative reciprocal is minus. So basically what we're saying about this line, the perpendicular line, is its general form will be y equals minus a half x plus c. Okay, now what we normally mean by C is this bit here, it's where it cuts the y-axis. Well, we know where it cuts the y-axis in this one, it cuts it at minus 5. In this one, we don't. But we do know that it passes through this point, so therefore we can use this information to work out the value of C. Because if we know the value of X and the value of Y, we could just simply plug it into this equation. So Y is 1 equals minus a half times 4 plus c. And when we calculate this then that will give us the value of c and we'll be able to complete the question. Okay, so let's just do that. Minus a half times 4, well a half times 4 is going to be 2. Minus that is going to be minus 2 plus c. If I add 2 to both sides it means that c equals 3. Okay, so that's great. I can just stitch this together now and it tells me that the, the equation of this line which is perpendicular to it is going to be y equals minus a half x plus 3 and that will be the answer to this particular question. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. This type of question is aimed at roundabout level Oh, probably about level five, level six, something like that in the new GCSE curriculum. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look at the other video examples within this particular playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.